seated in his dimly lit room, eyes glued onto his monitor, hands on a digi pen. Meet Pavan, a new age digi artist transfixed to his computer, executing confident brush strokes, engrossed with his latest creation, a portrait and a technological art piece. Welcome to the world of digital art. An art created in and aided by a digital environment. An art born of the unition of scanned images, drawings, graphics, digital compositions and imagination. Creating a visual effect while heralding the arrival of an unconventional art form. I am using a software called Painter, which gives you all, it's specifically meant for artists. And it's designed in such a way that any artist would not find any lack. They've made it so close to the real thing that uh, it's difficult to tell. If you see a printout and if you see the actual drawing, it's very difficult to make out. For the first time in the country, Vis-a-vis, -vis, an art gallery in the capital, in association with Hewlett Packard, has attempted to promote this art form through an exhibition that brings together artworks by creative people from diverse backgrounds. This collection, each with its own theme and character, collectively illustrates the use of a computer as an artist's tool. And on display are Satish Gujral's drawings, Pradeep Das Gupta's photographs, and a host of works by both senior and junior artists presenting the infinite possibilities in digital art. This kind of thing, uh, I think, um, no other um, medium could have, uh, I could do no other medium like uh, photography or uh, normal uh, uh, painting with the uh, brush and colors. Here you could uh, scan and then you could uh, work on these images and uh, then right in front of you, you have different options, the various formulation combination available to you. I use a software which uses traditional media, simulated. For example, I get charcoal, I get oil paints, I get watercolors, all kinds of pencils, color pencils on, on the computer. And they behave exactly the same way. I use a pen to draw, a digital pen, and it's pressure sensitive, so I don't feel any lack there. I find it uh, easier in many ways because you don't have to sharpen pencils, you don't have to have everything laid out in front of you. You just have one computer. Today in the exhibition what you see is large format printers giving you outputs which are as much professional quality as an original brush stroke of an artist. And that's what this exhibition allows you to show, shows you. So if you walk through the exhibition, it will be very difficult for you to guess whether this work is done by the original brush of an artist or through a computer and with a printer. Digital art evolved at a time when computer-aided design applications made its entry into the market. But it really graduated to an art form when advanced application softwares became readily available and when true-to-life pictures could be drawn on home PCs. Now that a lot of medias can be used for printing, uh, using say Hewlett Packard design jet printers, you can use things like uh, canvas, you can print on vinyls, you can print on uh, uh, you know virtually anything, you can print on things like even cloth, uh, you know fiber materials, tin foils. Uh, so people have started uh, doing a hundred percent digital job. This fusion of art and technology has heralded a revolution of sorts in the world of images. Today artists and creative people from various fields are gradually accepting this new concept and are willing to experiment. We would spin off a new stream of uh, artists who would specialize in uh, having, expressing their uh, uh, art through the computer medium. So I think the traditional medium will still remain and then now we'll have a newer medium where the artists will use the power of computers to create a different form of art. With information technology dictating terms to modern society and with the world being digitized with every passing day, it was evident that art would one day fall prey to the call of the bits and bytes of a computerized existence. 
and it seems that the time has now come when a dose of imagination and a touch of technology will result in the creative masterpieces of tomorrow. <laughs>